This is the Alchemy Kitchen, and this is a review of a heater I just got. An electric heater. It's um, Von Heitz Lufta. It's like a... It's really designed for bathrooms. It goes on the wall. It's a ceramic element heater with a fan in it. And I put this in my workshop. I already installed it. Because these... This is a this is a really old barn that's turned into like a garage workshop. It's pretty big. could fit probably three or four cars in here. Um, and it, the, it's old. So like the, the windows are single pane glass. There's leaks all around the wood frames. That I've been trying to seal up the old door. Also the cold air comes right through here. And I mean, it's not even getting into like just a little bit under freezing at night, but it gets cold in here. Um, I have a wood stove that's going right now. That's why the, it's 21 degrees in here. That works. It needs a little bit more. I need to do some repairs on that. But it does. It takes, you know, I have to make a fire. And it takes a while for it to get warm enough in here. It's, it's such a big space. It's taking a lot of firewood. So I got this. I saw it a few times. Silvercrest is a brand from the store Lidl. They make electronics. I've got a few things from them. Most of the stuff is decent. And this was um, at the store for 30 euro. 30 bucks. So I saw it the last couple times I was there, and I was tempted to get it, but the problem with these things is they use a lot of electricity. A lot of the electronic stuff now will have, like, an electricity rating, energy rating, so it'll be, like, A, B, C, D, through G, I think, is the lowest of how much electricity it consumes. This doesn't say anything about that, so that kind of... I don't think they're going to brag about it being an energy hog. Um, it is 1,000 to 2,000 volts, or watts, so uh, that, yeah... Um, you see right on the box, it's going to tell you it's got the ventilation, heights function, heat function, oscillation, timer, 1,000 to 2,000 watts, and the cable's uh, 180 centimeters. That's like a little under six feet. Decently long enough cable. I mean, if you're putting it up really high, it's got to be, I have it probably about, I don't know, six feet high. So the cable's got to be close enough to an outlet. Um... I just got it installed it yesterday, and this is great for when it comes in at night. And I don't want to spend, a lot, I don't want to make a fire, and that takes so long to heat things up. I might not be in here that long, but it's friggin' cold. Um, it's got a PTC heat element, so it it actually when you turn it on, turn the heat up a little bit. It starts getting hot, like. It, oops, I actually turned it off. So when you turn it off after it's heated, it's on, it gives a 30 second countdown before it shuts off. Um, I guess just to cool everything enough for the vent to close. That'll close when the countdown goes down. There is a power switch on the very back on this side too. Um, so it's not constantly on, like on standby. But I normally just unplug the whole everything when I'm not in here. So it gives a thermostat reading when it's off. Uh, I'm going to turn it back on. And so I got it set to 24 degrees. It goes up pretty damn high. Uh, 45 degrees. Um, those two red lights at the top, they look like it's hard. It's not focusing well on the... the like suns almost. Those, that's when both are on, it's running at 2,000 watts. When it's just one, it's at 1,000 watts. But, I mean, if it's automatically set to reach a high temperature, it's pretty much going to switch automatically unless you change that with the uh, remote. Um, turn that down a bit. I don't really want it to get that hot in here. So I'll set it around like See, once I get close to the, the set temperature, it goes back to the 1,000 watt mode. So I guess that is a little convenient for saving some electricity. Um, but this thing, I mean, it's already thrown out pretty warm air. Uh, once it goes to the... If I set the thermostat higher, it's going to... Within seconds, that air starts to get really hot fast. A few seconds, and then it's up to... Now it's hot. Um, you can, what I, cause I like to have it just blasted on me if I come in from the cold. So there's a, 
button here for the oscillation. So if you hit that, we're exactly where it's hitting you, just where you want it to, the air to hit you, you can just hit that button to stop that vent where you want it to stop. There's two kinds of, I don't know, I didn't really go into the timer functions. There's one where you can just set it to go off after one to nine hours, I think it was, or another one, so it's timed for like every day, which I don't think I'll ever use. There's a window setting. I haven't used that, but if the, if it detects a window's open, after so much time the temperature keeps dropping, it'll automatically shut off. So it's not trying to heat up a room with an open window. Um, those are the main functions of it. The only thing I kind of don't like is that the remote is convenient, but most of, I don't think there's a way to use a lot of the functions without the little remote. So if I lose this, that's going to be super annoying. It'd be cool if they would have put like a ring on it or something to hang it, or I'll just probably get some double-sided Velcro tape and have a spot to put it. Because I have this is this is going to be something super easy to misplace or lose. Um, other than that, it does the job. If you're standing in front of it, it heats up fast. For a huge room like this, it takes a while to do anything. It's going to take a lot of electricity, but it's not something I plan to just run all the time I'm in here. It's really for those kind of short sessions or when I first get in here waiting for the fire to warm things up. That'll help. So that's it. Just a quick review. None of that unboxing nonsense. It was just wrapped in plastic, a couple pieces of styrofoam, manual, and the remote with the battery. It's a little bit wide. It's about 56 centimeters wide. So like our bathroom is very small and tight spaces. So if you're gonna install it in a bathroom, you gotta like make sure it's gonna fit. It's not really designed for a big space like this, but for what I'm using it for, it seems to do the job pretty well. And it's already like standing in front of it right now. I haven't created it. I have to take my jacket off if I don't turn it off. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Till next time.